Hi there. Now for this question, we're given that the number of defects per metre in a roll of cloth has a Poisson distribution with a mean of 0.25. A tailor buys 300 metres of cloth and using a suitable approximation, find the probability that the tailor's cloth will contain less than 90 defects for 5 marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this question, haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, you might want to fast forward to check your answers, or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So first of all, what I'd want to do is to define a random variable, and that random variable we'll call D say. Let D be the random variable and it's going to be the number of defects just put that in, number of defects per 300 meters. Now we're told that the number of defects follows a Poisson distribution with a mean of 0.25 every one meter. So for 300 meters we can say where D would be distributed as a Poisson distribution but the mean will be 300 times more than 0.25 and if you do 300 times 0.25 you'll find you get 75. So a mean of 75 defects per 300 meters. Now I'm assuming that you're fairly familiar then with approximating a Poisson distribution to a normal distribution because that's what this is all about. If not, do check out my video tutorials on this. So if the mean, just as a reminder, if the mean is say more than 20, let's just put it in here, We'll say since the mean, that's lambda, is greater than 20, then we can approximate this distribution to a normal distribution. So we can say that D is distributed as a normal approximation approximately. Remember, it's not a normal distribution, so that's why I've written approximately on the end. And a normal distribution has two parameters, the mean and the variance. And the mean and variance of a Poisson distribution are exactly the same. In this case, 75. So we put 75 there and 75 there. So when it comes on to working out then the probability of the number of defects being less than 90, then we can say that this is approximately the same as working out the probability that the number of defects is less than, well, what is it going to be? Well, it's certainly not 90. I'm assuming again that you are familiar with continuity corrections. And just very briefly over here, I'll just illustrate this, that if we look at D as being distributed approximately as a normal distribution, so just draw an approximate normal distribution in there, remember that it's got a mean of 75. So if I'm looking for being less than 90, let's say 90 is over here, remember that we're dealing with a discrete random variable and when we're approximating it to a continuous random variable we have to think of filling the spaces between the discrete values say 89, 90, 91 etc with boxes of unit width. So this value just here, this edge here is at 89.5 and because we're working out the probability of D being less than 90. Remember, that is the area that is to the left, but doesn't include the 90. So we go just up to that edge there. And so using this approximation, 
and the continuity correction, we can say this is the same as the probability of D being less than 89.5. So do check out continuity corrections in my earlier video tutorials if you're unsure of this idea. So it's now just a straightforward problem where we work out this probability based on a normal distribution. So we need to work out what the standardized Z value would be and that would be the observed value 89.5 minus the mean which we now know is 75 and we would divide all of this by the standard deviation which would be the square root then of the variance so that would be root 75 and if you work out this value in here it turns out to be the probability of z being less than 1.6743 and so on and if you were to use a calculator or look up in tables this value here, you'd find that you get 0.95296 and so on. Which when rounded then comes to 0.953 to three significant figures. So the probability then of the number of defects being less than 90 is going to be approximately 0.953. Okay, well that brings us to the end of this particular question and hope you're able to get it right. If not, that you're able to see how to work it out or where you may have gone wrong.